Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Gulf of War. Today, we'll be, uh, as promised, continuing the main quest. Finally, because we've been uh, exploring this place, the Lake of Nine, for a while now, and uh, there's still a lot of things I need to check out. But before we do that, we're just gonna continue the story a bit, because I feel like we've been letting that lie around for a bit too long now. We're almost at the Niflheim Cypher, I know that as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see that when we get there. Um, so, on the main quest, Mimir told us we needed to get a chisel to uh, engrave some kind of cipher or rune into the Jotunheim uh, portal so we can use it. Which is, which sounds like a lot of work, but ooh, look at these waterfalls. This looks pretty. Um, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to be distracted immediately here, but... There's this big gate, can't seem to be doing anything with that, so moving on. And Jotunheim, of course, is where we uh, would find the highest mountain where we can toss the uh, ashes of Faye, Kratos' wife and Atreus' mother, uh, off the cliff. And there we have another spirit. A spirit? Huh. Let's have a little chat with this guy. from this realm too early. You who walks among the living! My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. Excuse you want us to me? collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Recover Gulvig's bones. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Well, that sounds like a side quest we're going to be doing later on. Uh, and this guy seems to have committed suicide. Yeah, he has thrown himself on his own blade, probably because his Gulvig died, because I'm assuming the bones on the ground here, which has the spears, ooh, which has been impaled by spears, is probably uh, Gulvig then. Okay, okay, fair enough. But I think we should be moving further around here, although this feels like an arena of some sort. But especially the abundance of uh, health stones. My fair but let's open up the gate and ignore Good. the pleading the of the spirit. Okay, what was that? Yes. Oh, hi! Level 3, this will, uh, yeah. I'm thinking the main quest might be a bit too easy for me now. Come on, buddy. Why the? Why am I not getting uh, the prompts? One, two, three. And there we go. Troll the Geralt. Let's just get him down and smack this guy around a bit. That's one, and then the other guy is over here. And axe to the face. Opening him up. There we go. Looks like you need a dentist appointment there, buddy. Oh god, Jesus. I was paying attention. Spending too much time quipping. I think he's gone. There we go. Yeah, please shut up. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Ooh, we got a symbol of shadows. I'm just gonna quickly check that out. Okay, it sounded cooler than it was because it's just a green, uh, a green enchantment. So never mind. So, but the gate has been opened, so now we can just move forward to wherever the hell it is we're going. Because I'm not actually sure. Usually we have a. Okay, there we go. 
information. I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of the air spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. This is... Awesome, look at this place. I'm just going a bit slower just to take a look around because this looks lovely. We're also actually going a bit slower because of the, the icy water. I feel like we'll soon be uh, stuck here. Wow. Whoa. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. So, yeah, we saw that hammer sticking out of the... Because you could see that from the other side, the hammer. Which is really, really cool. And then, of course, of course the stonemason is the enormous dude just lying there. Wha okay, that was just me hitting the ice there. This boat is really sturdy, by the way. Because I can hit ice caps and not sink. Um, so it doesn't seem like you can dock anywhere else than just this place. There we go. This is a definite change of uh, scenery. Northern dock. Investigate the dead giant. Okay. Oh, that's... Those are his fingers. Holy crap. Uh, I didn't attack. So that's a wolver. Probably the first introduction to wolvers normally. And there we go. Just smacking him around a bit. And there we go. Okay. Okay, 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 fair enough. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Oh. Just trying to get the loot out of the health stones here, because there's a lot of hack silver strewn around. And this is, I think, the last one. Six out of seven, that's not. That's not right. We found seven already. That is... That is wrong. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm guessing we'll soon get the uh, proper solution for that one. But uh, before that, moving on. So that's a giant ring. Can we do anything with that? It does seem to be... Oh, yeah. Highlighted, there we go. Rage and that didn't seem to do anything. Can I Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is cool. So let's put it over there and then fire away. And that opened up the chest over here, because there's a chest hiding. Thanks. Yes indeed, my idea, totally my my idea. Does that work on the other side as well? It seems to be. So moving it to the left, and I'm blowing it up again. There we go. I don't seem to have missed anything here, maybe a raven? No, no, everything seems to be fine. Okay, let's head in. Underneath the giant's hand. 
Okay, so this goes down. That's not a real one. Fair enough. And that's another one of those gates. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Ooh, so even that has an explanation. That is a nice eye for detail. Um, is this the seventh one then? It's magically locked. Hmm, I have a feeling that these will unlock really soon. There we go. So we can climb up here. Gets us to the roof of the building, I suppose, because it looks like he, yeah, that's that's the inside of his hand, and that just completely crushed everything here. The dragon is still fake for now. Oh god! You can grab that, and it's just more hack silver. Because yeah, this place doesn't look really stable. I'm just gonna bypass. Yep, there we go. Not a chest. I mean, I'm pretty good materials-wise, but uh, runic wormskin pauldrons. So I'm pretty much uh, over the blue stuff right now, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not even gonna check that out. Pretty sure that's gonna be worse than what I have. Wow. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Holy crap. Wait. Isn't... Isn't the chisel... That's the chisel, right? It's stuck in his head. Uh, I mean, he just put the chisel in the giant's head. And then the arm went all the way over here. Wow. That's a nice set piece. So that's more wolvers, which... An all fine light crystal. You know what it's for. Oh, come on, Atreus. Oh, God. Ah, uh, buried in the face. Oh god. Oh god, 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 oh god. Because I got eaten last time that happened. I'm taking a lot of uh, beatings there. Boom. And there we go. I got hit there. There we go. Nope. There we go. Okay. I need to get used to these wolvers. Because uh, they're really, really aggressive. And uh, yeah, as the previous episode is a testament to, I'm not really good at fighting these yet. Especially if they're level 7. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, explore a bit. Can what does that it? say? To Njord we offer back the seas back. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that they loved and worshipped him here. Okay, seems fair enough. Then we have uh, a chest over here. Feels like a trap because it's so in the open, but uh, there we go. The uh, plated rune weaver bracers. Don't really need that right now, but we do get solid Svartalfheim steel as well. Man, this guy is big. Um, an ERP chest uh, gate. Hmm. Does that? Ah, oh, okay. But the E is reversed. That's on there as well. No. B is... It's looking up. R. Okay. That is on there. Okay, so E and then the P with the tip on the top. Oh god. That was not supposed to happen. Never mind. Hello, big guy. Do I... Oh! There we go. I can actually smash him already. Is 
there we go, and I heard nightmares. Can I actually just block that or what? And then this one. Now once he opens up, there we go. Lost of the ancient slaver complete. Ooh, does that mean we got all of them? Huh. So frost sigil of defense, so increases frost resistance, which is really really nice. I is that the last one then? Because he had the one in Anvari's uh, workshop, but that one didn't seem to wake up in any way. And now we have something purple. Yeah, solid fart of hemp steel. Fair enough. Fair enough. Another ancient down. Um, what else do we have here? We have this thing, because it looks like there's more to this place. There we go. That's the one. So world tree sap over here, which means we can actually use that to blow that up. There we go. And ooh, that did it. so it's a separate crystal. Just gonna carry that around a bit. Might actually don't know where I need to put this, but might as well take it with me. And there we go around the next door corner. <laughs> Look at the trees, just playing around in the snow. There we go. What does that do? Uh, nothing until I fire at it, probably. Okay. Aw. Aw. Here we go. Oh, we just got something out of it. Never mind, that's the realms. There we go. 9 out of 18 close. I feel like I've done a lot more than that, but apparently not. More hacks will do for us, and uh, we'll yeah, start moving forward towards the, the giant thing. There's also something really creepy about the fact that there's like blood underneath the ice. It's like a layer underneath it, but uh, I'm just gonna destroy this as well. There we go. Boom! And that should give us the final one, which is that one I think, yeah. So that means that opens up. We can get the chest underneath here before we move on. The Mark of the Ranger Legendary Enchantment increases damage of all Axtros by 6%. Which is similar to a blue one I already have, I think. Interesting. I get a nice stack of hack silver again, so that's always handy. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Thank you. I'm actually gonna do that. And then we just move on. Look at this. Even the hair moves along. The hair of the giant... Well, practically set piece. Oh god. Okay. And then this one. There we go. Nightmares are easy now that I remember to shoot arrows at the flying things. Okay, I don't like the fact that the game is telling me to just go and the game is going automatically. Hat of Tamur. Oh, this doesn't look solid. There's like stuff How underneath the ice. Hmm. I feel I like have a plan. we're gonna Do get you? there accidentally. Act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Are we gonna smack the Boy. the entire hammer uh, on the ice? That was a nice transition. And there we go. Ah, uh, hurry. And there we go. Taken care of. Oh no, nope, there's still something. Let's get him off the roof and then... 
I rip it in half. There we go. Look at him celebrating. Um, oh, never mind. Oh, let's rip him in half. Oh, Jesus. Is that a second one? Uh, smack. Smack. Oh, they're just fighting each other now. Uh, just got out of the way of that attack. For me, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And one to the face. Oof. Jesus. And there we go, executioner cleave to the back of that ogre. Oh, hi, Sindri. How the hell did you even get here again? These guys just keep teleporting all over the place, but that was a really cool fight. They just kept coming. But since they were pretty low level, we easily managed it, but still, very cool feeling. Makes you really feel like a flippin' badass. And forget about the pots, though. So there we go. So let's get through here. So I'm guessing Kratos' plan is just to whack this hammer into the ice to get down there. Um, but uh, yeah, not such a genius plan, but still something we'll probably go along with. But Sindri, wow, what are you doing here? That, uh, fight. Here, catch. Oh that wow, that was awesome. Perfectly good out. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand the scene, <laughs> so it sees nothing at all. Awesome. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. And there he is. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Your There's the explanation for that. Enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? No, there wasn't actually. Oh, God. Kratos, calm down. You let him touch this again. Indeed, we did. And there's something wrong with the pommel, because that's not the pommel we're using. Oh, it's apparently heavier than it looks. Come on, then. Ooh, new upgrades. He's just holding it weird again. So that's Must how not Brock love the pummel I'm using. He stepped between realms. Okay, now shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. And another mark of the dwarves. I still don't know how that exactly works, but find a way to the hammer. Okay, um, is there anything we can do with Sindri? I'll quickly have a look at his inventory. So, absolutely nothing in his inventory of use. Okay, it seems like we have a few puzzles at our hands right now. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Hmm. Seems like we could definitely just turn this thing around. Carmel really liked jewelry, didn't he? He, he did. His beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. So... How does this Wait, work? I can... There's one of those shatter crystals. Yeah, I know, but... Aha! That did that. 
That does that one. This one's gonna be a bit harder. I think I gold it. There we go. Careful! My shop's right here! I know, Sindri, I know, but it still doesn't mean I'm gonna just leave everything in one piece here. I am Kratos after all. Next to smash things around a bit. Um moving up. Moving up. We heading into that building? Yes. You think that coming inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? Oh come on, no. Atreus. Mm. I'll keep thinking. Yeah, keep thinking, buddy. Don't think the plan is such a, a big uh, revelation. Still going with the giant hammer plan. There we go. Open up the gate. Ooh, well, this looks like... Yeah, traveler. So, we know what to do with these guys lately. He has a shield, though, so... That's fine. It's fine. He just turns around. That's a swivy swivy. Oh, yeah. He did get a hidden. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Turn around. Why not? Every now and then I fall apart. Turn around. No. Oh, fuck. He's gonna do that. Okay. Block the shockwave. I don't think the skull actually did anything. Uh, oh, come on, I dodged out of the way. Jump. And there we go. I love that attack. I really love that attack. That takes care of that. Yeah, another traveler. He didn't drop any loot, actually. Or did he? That's just a rage stone, but. Aw. He didn't drop any traveler armor shards. That is sad. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war, so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Hmm. So yeah, Thor is really, really sounds like a homicidal maniac. Um, this seems to be the way forward, but there's also a way up the sword. So if I just put it to the midway point, on both ends, so the, the boulder on the midway point and then the sword halfway, I think I might be able to, if I get the prompt for the jump, there we go. Climb up now and then just drop off over there and we have another golden chest which means well which can mean pretty much everything enchantments pommels runic attacks even runic summons and we have a runic attack blessings of the frost heavy runic attack activated to temporarily power up the leviathan axe with small explosions of frost damage on every hit and slight bonus to runic on normal attacks just kind of a buff Ooh, but it does take 107 seconds to just... Ooh, that is painful. Wow, I'm just not gonna do that for now. It does sound incredibly powerful, because the... I'm assuming that the the reason why it's so uh, high on cooldown is because it is just really, really good. But uh, before that, we'll just carry on. Um, you know what? Might actually take a little break now that we're here. So next up we'll probably smack down the hammer, so bring down the hammer. But uh, for now, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time on God of War. Goodbye.